How's everybody going? Welcome to Freeberg's Free Advice. Uh, we're going to do a little math and uh, some finance at the same time today. So uh, this was always one of my favorite questions uh, that my kids would ask while I was teaching. Um, and it was actually also a very common question while I was doing investments and insurance work. Um, who wants to be a millionaire, right? Uh, that's always been one of those questions. We're like, hey, we want at least a million dollars at some point in our life so we can say we're millionaires. So um, let's take a look. What does it actually take? So first thing I want to show, uh, you guys can find these on the internet in multiple places, but uh, there's a couple of formulas for you. Um, I realize now that that's probably going to show up as a reflection, so it's going to be hard to read. But uh, you can go Google uh, lump sum investments or payment uh, investments to reach your financial goals and find all those for you. Um, I'm actually not going to use that a whole lot, uh, which is why I said it's more of a finance, less of a math. Um, those formulas work, but the other thing that's beautiful is your calculator. So all of you, especially the high school kids, I know probably have these TI-83s. Um, we're going to use the financial app. So if you click on apps and go to the TVM solver, you can actually find um, that screen I just showed you. Uh, and that's going to be the fastest and easiest way actually to find all these numbers if you want to play around with lots of different things. So I encourage playing around because you learn stuff as you play around. So um, what's it take to be a millionaire? <clears throat> Well, I always talk about how time is your biggest benefit um, and you have the ability to let money compound on itself. And so lots of us have probably heard of compounding interest, which is your earning interest on interest. And that's awesome because now money is working for you. You don't have to work for money. Uh, so try to use to the best of your ability, use time to your advantage. Well, that means you got to start saving early. So let's look at somebody who just graduated high school. Maybe you got your first job. Uh, maybe you're working part-time and you're going to school, something like that. So yeah, it's, it's probably tough to have some extra cash flow, but you know, hopefully you can put a little bit away. Um, if we were to take a look at age 18 and you wanted to retire at age 60 because everybody wants to retire early, right? Uh, we're going to retire earlier and we live longer, which is really difficult for retirement. And we'll talk about that in another blip. But um, let's just say that you want to be a millionaire by age 60. Maybe not retire, but you want to be a millionaire by age 60. That's a good goal. It means you've got 42 years. So if we look at this bad boy here, we're going to see that N is our number of payments. So we're going to do 42 years times 12 months. We're going to make monthly contributions to that thing. Okay. Then uh, your interest rate. Over a long time, you're young, uh, you can invest aggressively. Let's say it's 10%, um, and we'll tie into 10% here later because uh, I want to teach you the rule 72. Um, so we do 10 divided by 12, so we see our periodic payment is about 0.83%. Our present value, we don't have any money, so present value is going to be zero. That's the PV. Your payment is our unknown. That's what we're going to go solve for. And then your future value is you want to be a millionaire. So let's type in a million bucks. So you should have something that looks kind of like that. <clears throat> And then if you hover over payment and do alpha enter, which is solve, it'll pop up this nice little negative number there. Okay, Why is it negative? Well, it shows direction of cash flow. So I'm going to get positive a million dollars because I've been investing negative 129.13. So it's only going to take you 130 bucks roughly to be a millionaire by age 60 if you start investing when you're 18. So that's kind of a fun fact. Uh, well, let's say, hey, I want to actually wait until I'm 65. So if you don't want to be a millionaire until 65 and you start at age 18, you actually find out that you only need to save $78 per month. Okay, We're talking like slightly over $250 a day. Okay, So you can, instead of going and buying your morning Starbucks coffee when you're fresh out of high school and instead invest that 250 every single day into a, a savings account for retirement and we'll talk about some of that retirement stuff later um, you can actually become a millionaire quite easily right for 250 a day for 78 bucks a month um, let's talk about how that actually gives you an advantage so time right well I'm in college I don't have money I can't save uh, so you're gonna wait and you graduate college, and then you have your first job, and you have your first apartment, and you're like, oh my gosh, I still don't have any money. So you buy a house instead. And now you're age 30, and you're like, oh man, I should start saving for retirement. But then you have kids. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I have no money because kids are expensive. And now I'm pushing it off, and I'm age 40. I'm like, I want to retire. I, I need to retire. So let's look at time difference, right? Let's say we start saving at age 30. Age 30, same numbers, 10% interest, 
But now I only have 30 years to save, uh, and I want to be that millionaire. It's going to take me $442 per month to become a millionaire if I wait till age 30. Okay, by age 65 it'd be a little bit less, right? 263 bucks per month if you want to be a millionaire by age um, 65. And then let's say I wanted to be a millionaire um, at age 40. I don't even start till 40. Well, I'm going to show you the small number first because the big one's kind of impressive. If I want to be a millionaire by age 65, start at 40. You better be saving 753 dollars per month, per month. Okay, that's a lot of money. That's that's like half of a mortgage payment, or depending on your lifestyle, right? So, um, or or a full mortgage payment, depending on where you are in the country. So uh, that's a lot of money. Well, what if you still wanted to retire and be a millionaire at age 60, starting at age 40? You need to put away one thousand three hundred and seventeen dollars per month. That is so much money. Okay, you need to be putting away like that's that's more than my mortgage payment. That's crazy. So um, yeah, I mean you're talking a huge annual thing. I didn't do this yet, so excuse me as I'm typing in numbers to my calculator here. But uh, you're you're saving almost sixteen thousand dollars per year. That's a lot of money that you'd have to be saving to become a millionaire. So my big point here: use time to your advantage. You're young. Money works for you. It's awesome. Okay, so two ways to become a millionaire. One, try to invest early. Let money work for you. Okay, that's that linear thinking. I've only got so much time and I gotta let money work. The other thing that might be popping out at you is I can become a millionaire by coming up with brilliant ideas, helping solve the world's problems. Now I'm making lots and lots and lots of money and saving, you know, two grand a month might not be a big deal to you. So go out, save some money, use time to your advantage, become a millionaire. Everybody can do it. Thank you for watching Freebooks Free Advice. Have a great day.